that. Welcome back, everybody. This is Night Flight. And today, Sherry Sweeney is back. And uh, we are going to talk a little bit about what is going on in the United States, at least for the first hour. And then in the second hour, we will dive into the spiritual and occult things. Uh, side of things. <laughs> Sorry about that. So Sherry, Sherry, welcome back. Oh, thank you, Judith. I'm really happy to be here. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, we're in really super crazy times right now, aren't we? Oh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a bit of an understatement, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, lots of stuff going on uh, also in your country. As I said, um, James Bartley interviewed me at the beginning of the month, uh, this week, and um, he wanted to know what's going on here in Europe. But, um, and I will probably say a thing or two about this during this conversation, but uh, let's focus on your country a little bit. So, although I am not um yeah let's say a real fan of elections <laughs> uh the midterms are coming up in the united states mm -hmm. uh, for those um listeners that are not so familiar with how things are done in the united states what is the significance of the midterm elections you know i i don't really know other than to confirm popularity uh, okay because, yeah it's kind of like the way that the British do uh, in their, they don't have midterms, but they have something else that I don't remember what you call it, where the person that's in office gets uh, confirmed for popularity. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I think that's what it is. But uh, yeah, and of course, you know, um, President Biden has such a low popularity. Um, it's like, and the only ones that seem to like him are the ones that are helping him, you know, mess things up. So I don't know. I mean, the public doesn't like him at all. And uh, and uh, I guess the big news here lately, uh, which I think is a distraction, is the uh, the FBI um, uh, attacking the uh, pre uh, president um, mm. Trump's mansion there in Florida. And that is totally outrageous from a legal standpoint. So, yeah. you know, I mean, they've, they have broken all of our trust in all of our laws. And I do, I do hope that um, enough legal people get involved to, uh, you know, make a big enough stink about this to let the people know we can't just let that kind of stuff happen. You know, because that gives them that's Gestapo. Mm -hmm. That's not America <laughs> by any means at all. So that's the big news. And I haven't heard the latest today, but yesterday there was, and the day before, there were articles flying right and left uh, all over the place from, from every, but every kind of news commentator, uh, from mainstream news to alternative news. And, uh, you know, the other big news is the, uh, the prosecution of Alex Jones. Mm -hmm. And regardless of what people think about him, one way or the other, it doesn't matter because they're breaking the law. They're, yeah. you know, they're violating his rights and they violated President Trump's rights. So, you know, that's the, to me, that's the big issue is, you know, they're just running, uh, they're just running wild all over the Constitution of the United States. So the people can't let that happen. And, and the, the people who say like, Oh, I don't like Alex Jones, so I'm glad he's, you know, going to get sued. Well, that's wrong. It doesn't matter what you think about him. Every single individual, every single citizen, whether they're, if they're charged with a crime, they have a right to due process. Whether they're guilty or innocent, they have a right to due process. And that has been sidestepped. So the same thing with, with Trump, you know, all of that's been sidestepped. Now, I, I kind of think that the Trump issue is uh is a bit of a distraction you know because they're because they're trying to slip this climate change uh thing on us now that you know <laughs> they they uh 
they're wanting us to just stop using uh, gasoline and flip right over to electric cars. Well, electric cars, if that were to happen, number one, who can afford them because they're like 60 grand. Mm -hmm. uh, and so not everybody can afford that. Plus, if if we did have a whole bunch of in the electric cars we have already, you know, with that keeps going up, the, the grid can't take that overload. So that's going to cause a major uh, blackout across the country. And then what are they going to do? <laughs> They're not going to be able to charge their electric vehicles and, you know, uh, and people will be freezing in the wintertime. So and, and yeah, isn't that amazing? I mean, the same thing is going on here and uh, already our um, <clears throat> grid is pretty stressed mm -hmm. and if they do not find a proper solution, you know, to the gas problem and they find it fast, this country is going down in a handbasket. There is a solution switch on Nord Stream 2, end of story. Well, you know, from an engineering point of view, yeah, uh, you don't shut down one system before you have another system already up and running. You exactly. have the secondary system up and running first, and then you can shut down the, the first system that you wanna, you know, uh, wipe out. So, I mean, the, but they're not doing that. They're just, yeah. they're doing it, they're doing it wrong. Now, whether they have any, honest engineers on their staff or not, they're not talking to them. Yeah, it feels as if, you know, they are jumping out of a plane, have the fabric for the, um, you know, what is it call, called? The thing that uh, you do not, the, oh my the, goodness. The, the parachute. Oh, the, the parachute. Par yeah, yeah, they yeah. have the fabric for the parachute and on their way down, they start uh, knitting it together. Yeah, that's that's exactly that's a good analogy. That's exactly what's going on with these electric cars. You know what they what they really could do is they could release all of the inventions that have been that they put on the back shelf to keep away from the public. They could release those things, and then we would be uh, you know we wouldn't be using so much oil because we would be using Tesla inventions for free energy. Yeah. But of course, they don't want to do that because they can't meter it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the thing is, all of this is a whole bunch of hooey. It's a whole bunch of baloney. Yeah. And the sooner people realize they've been lied to about every single thing. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, I don't know that we're going to get to the ones that are totally brainwashed. I really don't. Um, yeah, I... I... Today I saw an article and uh, there was a question, a survey underneath it. And uh, the article was about um, that the Ukraine um, has got a pass on um, uh, $20 billion uh, that they said, yeah, okay, um, you can pay that in two years. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then the, the, the question was underneath the survey, <laughs> uh, do you think we should send more money uh, to the Ukraine? And I guess 97% said uh, no, but there was still two and a little bit percent uh, who said, oh yes, we have to send everything that we can. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's pretty amazing when I look at those those polls. And yeah. I think those are actually real people doing that. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm amazed at, you know, even 2%, that's a still a lot of people. Yeah. And, uh, and so apparently, that 2% is all that uh, anyone's listening to in the White House. So, uh, but yeah, so I mean, it's it. Wait a bit. Wait a bit. Okay. So, uh, sorry about that interruption. Oh, that's um, okay. So, yeah, I think I think I was talking about the the whole world being completely upside down, and really, in my in my opinion, there's no topic, no public topic that 
uh, is right anymore. It, and the lies are just ubiquitous. So, but we can talk about the big ones, uh, you know, but it goes down to the small lies too, that are your everyday, the things that are everyday, like, uh, well, it's not really that small, the food crisis is not small, uh, but that is a generated uh, manufactured food shortage. I mean, I can't help but think that all of these fires of uh, warehousing and uh, mm -hmm. companies that have to, that are, are catalysts within the food development part, the shipping and the, the packing and stuff like that, those fires, that's too much coincidence to be accidental to, in, to my way of thinking. So I really think that this is part of the in the part of the plan. Some of them are probably okay and they're they're probably accidental, but for the most part, all of them in in the sequence that we've been seeing them is just not uh, that's that to me spells like a plan. So uh, but you know, as you know, Bill Gates wants us to eat uh, manufactured food and bugs. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know any American that would actually do that. So uh, there's there's some pushes going on about getting rid of uh, GM uh, the glyphosate in uh, in GMO products, mm -hmm. uh, and you know I don't know who's going to listen to that. You know I mean it's we're for it we want to get rid of it yes yes yes, but uh, they're not listening to the public anyway. So. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just, uh, they're doing their own thing, regardless of what we think. And that is not America. Mm -hmm. That might be China, but that's not America. So, you know, yeah. I, know. I mean, I guess that is a feeling that a lot of people have what happened to my country, even here. Yeah. But on the other hand, then I have to say, yeah, a lot of people slept too long. Yeah, because and the signs were there. Yes, yes, long time ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But see, we were called conspiracy theorists, which, as <laughs> you know, as you know, is a, a CIA uh, made up uh, mm -hmm. uh, thing when uh, JFK was assassinated, and so anybody that didn't agree with the the official story, uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I published the document that they said they would wanted to do this on is to you know make the the call them conspiracy theorists and that would make it be that they were making stuff up so they made it hard for people who uh watched the mainstream news to know what was right and then they poisoned their minds with the uh, gmos and fluoride and you know vaccines and stink things like that so uh, in a way, you can't really blame the people for for being so stupid because they were dumbed down from you know the beginning. But uh, why some of us didn't get dumbed down is uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why why some of us did and some of us didn't. That's an interesting question. Yeah, because we were all subjected to the same lies. We were all subjected to the same thing, mm -hmm. and some of us said. No, I'm not doing that. You know, I'm not mm -hmm. going to watch the television. I'm, I know that this is propaganda, but well, I think a lot of us uh, were into reading books, and um, you know, the generations today aren't necessarily uh, readers anymore, mm -hmm. like they were in in when I was younger. And of course, you know, I'm I'm. Uh, kind of, I grew up in the 50s, so a lot of these people that are probably listening to you weren't even born then. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, but so, like, for example, today, uh, the problem is uh, the farmers are responsible for for uh, climate changing. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. They, they want to implement a, um, a tax on cow farts. Oh. <laughs> yeah, here, you know, because so now let's say, <clears throat> let's say there is a farmer who has um, 100 cows mm -hmm. and he is now, if that becomes law and 
yeah, we will see. <laughs> uh, and let's say he has to pay five euros per day per cow. That is 500 euros per day. Yeah. So the so, farmer and, and 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 then what? When you collect this money, the cow then in turn farts less or what? Yeah, well, the cow just has to stop farting. That's all there is to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. The only thing and that well, ha we have is... we have to stop farting too because you know we 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 contribute as well. And every other animal on the planet contributes uh, to the, you know, to the environment. So, but that doesn't change the climate. The, what changes the climate is the sun. Yeah. And if people knew that, I mean, I just, this is just so, so yeah. basic. And it's, on top of it, you have the geoengineering. Yeah, you have the geoengineering and that's poisoning us and the waters and the soil and the animals and, you know, that's poisoning everything on the planet. But that is not contributing to the ch the climate changing. The climate mm -hmm. was changing before we were here. The climate yeah, sure. has been changing before cars and electricity existed. Mm -hmm. And so, but, you know, uh, here, jeez. Uh, so, we're the human beings are not responsible for climate changing the, no. the changes that are happening <laughs> in the climate are cyclical and mm -hmm. it every planet in our solar system is being affected right now because of the position that we're in in the galaxy and our sun mm -hmm. so that's that's the basic cause now we you know we can we change the climate in cities because we uh, we uh, do the concrete sidewalks and, you know, just, mm -hmm. just concrete cities and that creates its own little weather pattern, but that's in that city. You go out of the city and the climate is different. Have you ever noticed? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah so there was a big push to um, do green roofs, uh, you know, plant plants on top of roofs and uh, plant trees on and in the sidewalks and, and stuff like that. And that would help, uh, you know, uh, reduce the heat inside the, the cities. And uh, that would help, you know, that would just help make it more pleasant to be in a city. So, but yeah, they're not listening. I think they know these things are just not listening because they want us gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or whoever's left, they want us, they want whoever's left to be their slaves, which, mm -hmm. you know, we're already their slaves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so what do you make of the IRS story? Yeah. Um so I I found it very very um yeah. I find it disturbing when they say they are searching for personnel that is willing to carry a gun and use deadly force. And these 80,000 new agents will not be auditors. They will call them criminal investigators. So um, you, uh, until recently, I mean, this is still, it's not a law yet, mm -hmm. but um, I think it's interesting what uh, is uh, being said under requirements for those that apply um, here with deadly force and willing to uh, carry a gun. So, and uh, the criminal investigators, that was, I don't know, I guess around 1,000 and now 80,000 more. Mm -hmm. And Sherry, I have a feeling they will not be going after the huge corporations that do not pay taxes anyway. Yeah, here's the thing. Um, this country, you, this country is being uh, taxed without representation because the government mm -hmm. is not listening to the people at all. We know that. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, we're still supposed to pay the taxes. No, thank you. I mean, 
if and I think that people should rise up about this and look into taxation without representation. If we don't have the representation of the people who were elected into office, if they're not listening to their constituents, then we're not obligated to pay taxes. Now I'm all for contributing to things that are uh, good for the communities. And, and, but right now our taxes are going to wars and, uh, and uh, the GMO nonsense and uh, the climate change nonsense and all of these, all of these draconian things. That's not why I'm paying taxes. Mm -hmm. and I don't think, I don't think too many citizens would uh, argue with that. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, so here we are, we're not being represented by the people who were elected into office, they're very few of them are paying attention. And so we're not obligated to pay taxes without representation. So yeah, but uh, who what knows what that? And who who would know even how to define that? I mean, I understand what you are saying, but do, do you do you think that the majority of the people know this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think that, um, you know, our, well, I was going to say our, our, our representatives should know this. States probably do know this. They're just not uh, paying attention to it. And I think that um, that needs to be brought up to, in, to I don't know, legal uh, corporations who are running some of this big, these big uh, cases for uh, the, the mass crimes that they're committing in the White House. Uh, and when I say White House, I don't mean the White House only. I mean the government in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's kind of a generic term that I'm using here. So, but yeah, I mean, uh, they're being influenced by the people like uh, George Soros and Klaus Schwab and Bill Gates and Tony Fauci. And, you know, these guys are criminals. They have, they really have no power because they, and they are criminals. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, provable. Uh, it's, there's, we've got enough evidence for all of these people to take them to court and win if there's a, you know, a good judge, an honest judge that we could find. Uh, so yeah, the United States is no longer um, acting like a, uh, a constitutional republic at all. Uh -huh. And so people have gotten fooled by Oh, we're a democracy. Well, no, we're not a democracy. We're a constitutional republic. And there's a big difference. Democracy is mob rule. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, that's, uh, that's never been the case. And mm -hmm. in a democracy, they, they go for things like, oh, uh, for the, for the, the greater good. Well, the greater good is, uh, is really a dangerous thing because that that doesn't uh, give any any leeway for the individual who might disagree, and everybody has a right to disagree. So mm -hmm. the better the better phrase that people should probably get used to saying instead of talking about the the greater good, they should maybe say something like the good uh, for everyone. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, because this 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 greater good that's a trap that's a big yeah, trap. <clears throat> that is um yeah how they uh, sell it in china yeah there the collective is everything and the individual is nothing absolutely and that's not what the united states is all about yeah well, it what it's it's turning into it because of the idiots that are believing the it, the criminals. You know what can I say? You know I just don't know where this is all heading. I still am uh, optimistic, but mm -hmm. I guess we can talk about that in part two because that has to do with the spiritual side of it. Yeah. So I, I, I would, you know, I'm really shocked by this, by this part that they have to be willing to carry a gun and use deadly force. To me, as a foreigner, but <laughs> I am reading this uh, requirement. Mm -hmm. so, so automatically some questions pop up in my head. So why so many 
And what does that mean? Will they, let's say, confiscate at gunpoint and, um, and will they shoot people at, in their houses or what's going on here? You know, I really don't know um, the background of that. Uh, I remember when several years ago, the IRS um, purchased I don't know guns. how many million dollars worth of guns. Yeah, a whole bunch of guns. Yeah, and, and we're all like, well, what do they need guns for? <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and just uh, early 2022, they purchased uh, ammo for seven hundred thousand mm dollars. -hmm. Yeah, and I can't. I don't remember how much they spent several years ago on on the ammunition. And I mean the uh, the guns mm. themselves. But you know, when I when I read that, I was like, "What do what does the IRS need weapons for? Maybe they're just storing them for somebody else. I don't know. You know, that was kind of my thought at the time. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I mean, I I can when I start to think about all of the corruption in this country, mm -hmm. uh, uh, my mind goes, you know, kind of I get baffled because I I see it. I know it's happening, but it's really hard to believe that, you know, that we let it get this far, you know, but uh, when I, when I look at how stupid everybody in the world became in the last couple of years, it's like, holy cow, I didn't know that we were that far gone. You know, mm -hmm. I really didn't. I really, I, when I first saw the, the, um, the first news, uh, I remember waking up one morning and turning on my computer and here was all this news about this new uh, this new virus that was highly contagious and all this stuff. And I thought, oh, here we go again. I mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. so I went and got my coffee and sat down and kind of brushed it off to the side and I kind of figured everybody else would too because they'd already we've already been through so many of them already, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so excuse me. Uh, yeah, so I figured this one people would just kind of brush it off to the side and I was shocked when I was getting phone calls from friends saying, oh, you got to wear a mask. And I'm like, I'm not wearing a mask. If anything, this is just the flu. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it'll kill you. No, it's, well, it's not going to kill me, you know, mm -hmm. because I don't believe that it's, it's, it has that effect. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and it didn't. It did for elderly people who were already, you know, on their deathbed or already highly compromised. I understand that, but that's kind of what happens every single year and has been happening all along. Yeah. So, but, and, and I thought, okay, well, people will know that, right? People will know that this is what happens every year. We, you know, a certain number of people no, they uh, didn't. Die, die of the flu and they just forgot. It just, they, they, it's like they had a big mind wipe. Mm -hmm. So I was walking around being shocked for several days. And then I started getting worried. It's like, oh, well, geez, if these guys, if our, if our people go for this stuff, we're, we're in trouble. Mm -hmm. And uh, yep, yeah, so that's what happened. And I'm still, you know, I'm still amazed at how some really smart people turned so stupid <laughs> overnight. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I don't know what happened to him, but uh, anyway, yeah, this was, and I, I, I would, I was getting phone calls from other people to say, do you think this is real? And I said, no, I don't, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not telling you what to do, but this is what I think. I don't think it's real. I think it's another, you know, mm -hmm. scam. I don't know, you know, the only thing I can think of is agenda 2030. Mm hmm yeah. And so I still think that that's what they're driving toward. But I just wonder, you know, what's the big push? How come all of a sudden it has to be pushed so hard that they're actually making some pretty uh, obvious mistakes? Yeah. He had a, a bill like this uh, with the IRS, what we just talked about. Yeah. Sorry. Does that have to go through... Congress and Senate, or how how does that work? Normally, the bills, if there's going to be a new law passed, it has to go through Congress and the, uh, it has to go through the Senate and uh, 
that has to be approved and then it has to go through congress and then the president has to sign it yeah do you think it will be stopped there i have no idea mm -hmm. i really don't know at this point you know i don't want to give it any energy to for succeeding mm -hmm. i don't i don't think any of us should mm -hmm. and if anything that the people should be protesting this mm -hmm. Yeah, I, um, do you know who Judge Nepal, Ni, Ni, Napolitano? Yeah. Napolitano? Sorry yeah. about that. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he made a few comments about this. And what he suggested was that um, if something like this happens and the agents come to your house, he mm -hmm. suggested that you... Um, do not say anything, not even your name. You ask them for their business card and tell them that your lawyer will contact them. <coughs> yeah. And that's it. So, but his last remarks were in that video, something bad is going to go down. Oh, he thinks it will? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I saw something quite similar of it was uh, what to do if the FBI raids your house. Mm -hmm. And it was the same kind of uh, information, you know, uh, mm -hmm. of course, if they're banging down the door and they're hauling you to out on the street, you can't really do that. But, uh, you know, you can still uh, you can still not tell them anything. You can still have hopefully someone's there to take pictures of, of uh, what they're doing. But in, in what is really important to do is take pictures of your place after they've left to document whatever they did. And mm -hmm. then you need to get a copy of the warrant because the warrant has specific areas to be searched, very yes. specific areas to be searched or persons to be searched, rooms to be searched. So I've learned that and uh, there's been a few videos out on how what to do if if they because who knows they might come banging on your door i mean they probably won't be banging on your door to just be you know breaking your door down <laughs> so mm -hmm. yeah uh but yeah so and napolitano i you know that's good advice that he gives just when the police come to your door you don't have to tell them anything at all mm -hmm. You know, you can you can ask for their business card and tell them that your lawyer will be in touch with them. And mm -hmm. if they knock you around or stuff like that, you know, if you don't have somebody to film it, that's really not, that's not good. But um, you know, make sure you get filmed or get pictures taken of yourself or of the house or the premise to document what they did, what they destroyed, or what they tore apart. But yeah, so we're living in pretty dangerous times. It depends on where you are. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're out in the country like I am, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's pretty peaceful here. And, um, you know, the only danger part that I uh, know about is what I read because I don't experience it here. Um, and I'm not aware that anybody in my general area is experiencing anything like that. So I, I assume that that means that this is just in the big metropolitan cities. That uh, that these IRS agents will only well, work? No. No, no. I mean, that the, the FBI and the craziness, the total craziness is going Ah, on. OK. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, uh, yeah, because I don't see that in the small communities at all. And um, I don't see too many, I don't see any crazy people in the small communities. So uh, even in town, I don't see any, you know, crazy people. So maybe, maybe I'm just in a good spot. But, um, you know, I'm looking around the country and people who are um, out in the outskirts of town, they're, you know, they're far away from town. They're not having problems. They're, my, they're having supply problems because that's affecting everybody, but they're not having some of these uh, violent encounters that some of the people in the cities are having. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, this IRS thing, that is, that is, 
that's just one more horrible thing that's gone on. Yeah, but it, it's really bizarre. I mean, you know, it, it doesn't mean that that has to happen, but somehow here, yeah, some parts of it, it reads, you know, it, it invokes violent fantasies somehow. Yeah, now it could be, I mean, you know, I don't know if they're, what they're, what they're intending on doing. I mean, uh, how many people don't pay taxes? Not very many. Yeah. And, uh, and then how many people have back taxes that, you know, they just can't pay? Well, maybe some, but you can't, if, if you threaten them with a, 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 you know, a weapon, that's not going to make them all of a sudden get rich and be able to pay up. Yeah, but uh, we have left the realm of logic and common sense a long time ago. Yeah, that's, <laughs> what, that's what I'm getting at. That's what I'm getting at. There's nothing that makes any sense at all. So yeah. it's kind of hard to talk about because, you know, because I, I'm, I'm a pretty logical, common sense person. Mm -hmm. So when I see everything going flip flop, I'm like, holy cow, you know, how do people not notice this? Or are they just too afraid to, to say anything about it? Mm -hmm. Which is, which is really ridiculous because, uh, you know, as individuals, we have so much power in our in us and we're just getting we're just letting ourselves be doormats mm -hmm. i don't understand yeah there must be some deep-seated fear so somewhere the, the, yeah the... so what, what what is the fear is it the fear of dying well yeah, there, that's the root of all fears. <laughs> yeah, I mean, is or is it the fear of starving? That's that could be a real fear. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, if you're afraid of starving, then you have to do something about it. You just can't sit there and let yourself starve. Mm -hmm. There are things that you can do, you know, you yeah. can grow a tomato plant. And if you're allergic to tomatoes, you can grow something else. But you can grow potatoes or you can grow, you know, I mean, and you can do some of these things inside your apartment. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I mean, of course, if, if we run, if we get the electricity shut down and the plants need, you know, grow lights, then that's kind of not going to work. But a window will work, you know, and I can't see an apartment that doesn't have any windows. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I mean, there's there's things you can do and there's things you can be preparing for now for just in case uh, a lot of my friends are already prepared mm -hmm. for whatever and mm -hmm. uh, so that's a good thing my friends and family that's a good thing but i don't know if people are just are they just sitting by and getting walked on and oh woe is me and i'm too afraid to speak up and there's nothing i can do that is a lie yeah. And you know where the lies come from, right? <laughs> yeah, they, but uh, they come from the dark side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. So <clears throat> you uh, already mentioned our beloved uh, Klaus Schwab and his mm -hmm. uh, World Economic Forum. Mm -hmm. And today I read that uh, with the UN, they have made the announcement to accelerate agenda 2030 oh. so now <clears throat> i thought yeah okay i i get it you are in a hurry um but on the other hand i think there have been made big mistakes uh, even the last couple of two years the the last two years and um or almost three years now so and I, I think that was due to the fact that they were in a hurry so what say you do you think that is even possible to accelerate it even more and if so how it's, it, the way that i see it judith is that they talk a big talk about they want to do this, mm -hmm. they want to build these cities. And I, you know, I've looked at some of these things and it's like, I don't know how they're going to do that. 
they don't have the I mean, unless they have a, you know, a quadrillion amount of dollars to throw at this stuff, their plan isn't going to work. Yeah. They don't have the resources to do those, do those designs. <laughs> they don't have yeah. the resources to take care of uh, all the things they want to do. And then if it kills a lot of people, what are they going to do with all these dead bodies? They don't have the resources to even take care of that. Mm -hmm. So when you look at some of these really... Uh, lovely cities that they're going to make and uh, you know everybody's going to have this and it's everybody's going to have that and it'll all be you know peaches and cream and uh, you'll own nothing and be happy and so on but <laughs> their, their plans are high in the sky I just don't see how they can ever make them become a reality mm -hmm. they, yeah, they, don't, they don't have the resources for it or the manpower to do it mm -hmm. I mean, they have architects and architects are great at designing. They can design anything. Whether it's going to work or not is up to the civil engineers, the structural engineers and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, I mean, I've seen some architectural designs. It's like, uh, you know, I wonder how that's going to, how they would build that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so, uh, yeah, there's, yeah, it's, it's uh, I just don't see how their plan can work. Hmm. It can make it yeah, hard I, on this, yeah, and because they've got all this, uh, you know, powerful backing. They've got the corporations, they've got the governments, you know, they they're all in in bed with each other, and they can they can make laws that make life really hard for us. But I just um, I just don't see how they can make their overall plan work. Um, okay, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. So, um, and I think. A lot of their plans are already being stifled. Um, for instance, uh, the rest of the world, yeah, apart from NATO stan, um, did not go along with the sanctions against Russia. Mm -hmm. That does not mean that I think that Russia is doing a good thing. Yeah, right. I want to point that out. Right. And I also don't think that Putin is fighting the deep state. No, he's not. So, um, but what we clearly can see is that uh, other countries, you, um, yeah, they turn away from uh, NATO stun. Mm -hmm. Recently, Brazil, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, and South Africa, if memory serves, announced that they are interested in joining the BRICS nations. So yeah, I read that too. Yeah. And uh, I see nobody lining up to join the G7, G G20, whatever fancy uh, G it, it might be. Nobody is lining up there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of seeing the same thing. So that makes me wonder. Uh, I mean, of course, we know that the controlled media lies to us. Mm. But how big are their lies? Because unless you are living in the country that's uh, being involved and you're, you're directly uh, involved in what's going on, you don't know what's going on. Mm. And the, our controlled media certainly doesn't have any idea what's going on. They're only, you know, uh, reading out the, the script that they're given. So that makes me think that um, it makes me question and I'm not saying that I'm right or anything. It just makes me question whether, uh, you know, what what they're printing about uh, the the G7 and and uh, you know the control and uh, the the even the Ukraine war. I, you know, I just think it's all. What if it's all baloney? I think it is. What if it's all embellished or? exaggerated to make people think one thing when something in the opposite is going on. So, and, you know, what I see is the downfall of the United States. If people don't wake up, we mm. can prevent this, you know, we can prevent the this. entire Western world, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Europe has a good chance um, experiencing a total blackout. 
no at least the eu nations yeah and then yeah although no switzerland will will uh, will go into a blackout in a, because the grid it starts you know in the scandinavian countries and it goes down 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 to um uh, northern africa very dense mm -hmm. yeah so uh, yeah switzerland will probably experience a cascade effect uh yeah i thought switzerland was kind of the home base of the wef yeah of course and, and yeah so i mean uh so what you're saying is the even the wef couldn't prevent that i don't know um uh, how uh may, maybe they have <clears throat> took they took precautions that the wef itself will be on the safe side and maybe um, it's enough for them mm -hmm. but i can tell you the official um what the government had released the official uh, plan in case the grid goes down or the energy uh, is not enough to supply everybody then the plan looks like this you will have four hours electricity four hours not four hours you will have for yeah and so mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. so <clears throat> that is what the government itself has issued so i don't think that they are of the um, opinion well we have the wef here nothing will happen <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. I'm just asking, you know, because I don't know. So yeah. <clears throat> that means yeah. that they're vulnerable to their own mistakes too. Yeah. So interesting, uh, huh? Yeah. I mean, the the they're pushing really hard to get their agenda uh, to a, a particular point. Uh, I don't know why they're pushing so hard. I've got some theories, uh, but uh, but that goes over to the spiritual side. And so, uh, because see, I'm looking at this as a whole spiritual war and what we're seeing mm -hmm. in the physical is kind of a, uh, you know, kind of the, the playbook being played out, the long time playbook to, to for the material world, but it's, um, it's affecting the, the spiritual world mm -hmm. as well. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, so yeah, they're, they're pushing so hard because they need to meet this goal at a certain time. You know how mm -hmm. these guys are highly into um, astrology and magic and all of that stuff. Okay, and, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. So they rely heavily on uh, astrological or things like that. And I don't understand all of that. So <laughs> I'm not the one to talk about it, but I know that they rely on that stuff heavily for mm -hmm. when they make their moves i saw something uh, i saw an interview yesterday i think it was that there was a uh well, it was last night and the the raid on uh trump's mansion mm -hmm. was on the same day the super moon no, it was, the super yeah moon? maybe so maybe so but it was also on the same day that president nixon left office mm -hmm. And there's a tie between Nixon and Trump that goes kind of way back. Mm -hmm. uh, and it has to do with UFOs or, mm -hmm. yeah, they're supposed to call them UAPs these days, but they're UFOs to me. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's, <laughs> there's this weird tie that goes on there. And then the, you look at these dates, uh, I think it was August 8th that they'd happened, right? So mm -hmm. 8, 8, 22 i don't know how that works but yeah it, so did those, it happen on the 8th i thought so maybe maybe I, i'm maybe i'm wrong yeah i think uh, it was, yeah. it's only been a few days ago yeah, yeah I, I thought it was yesterday but you know i i'm lately i confuse a lot of days so no. yeah well, <laughs> it was at least the day before yesterday but anyway, oh, okay whatever the date is um and I was when I was watching this show, they were putting together these important events that happened on the same date. Mm -hmm. So 
right away I was wondering, well, I wonder where the planets are and how that goes with astrology and you know, I need to look that up and see if I can figure it out. But I'm just, I'm just not very well versed in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I um, have a couple of interviews with uh, Wendy Chiketti, and um, she is an um, astrologer. And I asked her during our uh, last interview because uh, Uranus is uh, grinding down all the old structures that are no, no longer serving us yeah it's grinding down a lot of things so and i asked her i said do you think that they saw this opportunity that okay it's coming to an end anyhow it's a cosmic cycle so now let's try to hijack that and turn it into our image you know you understand what i mean yeah i do and i would say that she, that's probably a good possibility what did she say she said yes absolutely that's a hijack yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so that's what i'm talking about they 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 know astrology really well mm -hmm. and most americans don't i mean i'm one of them that doesn't know it mm -hmm. uh, and I, I wish i did so but yeah, I think that there's an awful lot to be said about when they do things, the timing of when they do things. Nothing happens by, nothing is a surprise to them. You know, they, you know, when they said, uh, well, who could have seen that coming? Well, they saw it coming. They, they're the ones that created it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Not funny, but I can't help, I have a weird sense of humor. It's just, it's, uh, you know, me too. Mm -hmm. I have yeah. this gallow humor sometimes, and it irritates a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, same here. Same here. I, I I just have a strange sense of humor that you know all this stuff is. Uh, aside, I mean, it's not like I don't have empathy and and compassion for the people who are literally suffering. Mm. That's not that's not what the laughter is all about. The laughter is about the stupidity uh, of. Uh, of all of the things that are going on that could have been prevented. Yeah. So, uh, Sherry, I guess it is burning on all levels. <laughs> you yeah. know, they, they, there is not one issue that you can touch on that feels really smooth. So I guess there is, uh, you can no longer say this is the most pressing issue in our country, or could you pinpoint something? No, I mean, it's the whole, it's the whole ball of wax. It, this is for all mm -hmm. the marbles. Mm -hmm. They're going for the, then this is it for them. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, I think that they're just pulling out every single stop that they've had, uh, you know, because they're running out of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we have, we have like, um, I've, I follow this one channel that's called uh, Suspicious Observers, and they mm -hmm. do, you're familiar with them, they do space weather and, and earth weather, but <clears throat> they, they mainly concentrate on space weather. And so for a long, long time, uh, Ben Davison has been talking about the, um, the next, he's got, even got a book out that's called The Next End of the World. <laughs> so mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> anyway, so, and this is, a, this is a cyclical thing. So he's, he's bringing up that they're, you know, they're, we're due, we're overdue for um, the, the, our son to go Nova, not big Nova, but you know, not not blowing up to smithereens but it goes in it has a nova every every 12,000 years or something like that and then there's another 6,000 year cycle and so we're 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 due and so you know i mean i i, I kind of wonder if the the would-be controllers are trying to get everything they can uh off of this planet before that happens so they can leave or go into their safety tunnels or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. have, have you heard of a guy named, called Jason Brashears? Yes. Okay, well, he's talking kind of, the, kind of the same thing, but not about the sun. Mm. He's talking about the Phoenix event that he says happens 
every 138 years and uh, it's not a full it's it's not a full blown one uh, except every I forget how many times the Phoenix event will happen and it won't ha it won't affect everybody on the planet it'll only affect certain regions of the planet and then <clears throat> when it happens again that might happen uh, in the same way but in a different region so uh, oh, funny. If, if, FEMA, if, FEMA, I, I, just go ahead. FEMA uh, has uh, released something that warns of a 10 year blackout due to an event with the sun. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, oh, no, not the one from FEMA, but I saw the one from NASA. Uh, okay. Yeah. They didn't say 10 years. They just said warning of, you know, a major blackout. Because yeah, the FEMA was very specific. They talked okay. about 10 years. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Could you send me that article? Did it just come out? Yeah, I, I will send you that. No problem. Okay. Um, and funny it. enough, it reminded me of this um, TV show. It was canceled after a while. Unfortunately, I thought it's called Revolution. Mm hmm and uh, there a bunch of scientists um, yeah let's say accidentally kicked out the entire earth grid and um, then the series starts there mm -hmm. and uh, it has been where it starts the grid has been down already uh, for five years okay and then the quarrels and how uh, everybody wants to form a government and um, it was quite, i enjoyed it and then i don't know i guess after the third season or fourth they canceled it yeah okay yeah they always cancel the good ones don't they yeah <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah yeah oh dear yeah so, so, uh, so we, yeah we have, we have reached the top of the hour so uh, we make a short break, Sherry and I, and uh, yeah, we will see the patrons on the other side and uh, yeah, stay strong and sound and enjoy your life. Bye-bye. <laughs>